Well, hello there, folks. I got this here Neotech NCS6200. This is most of the stuff that it came with. There's the tool kit you can see down here, and the mixing pot, you know, which works fine. You got this, your obligatory scrunch, you got the gloves, you got ear protection, and of course, the main feature is the saw. And I put it on here with, with the chain, with chain and bar, which is a 20 inch bar. Uh, it's 325 pitch by 58 and it works pretty good. I'll take a, and oh you got this nice big scabbard came with it too. Came on it. <laughs> a little tight but it works pretty good. You got that cover on there and it it's got a nice looking, a good chain. You know, the sprocket cover, the clutch cover is plastic, but does have metal inserts, which are possibly brass, and the chain brake works fine. It clicks on and off, just, just works good. And that works out real good. And of course, here you can see the top here, and around here it has a real nice cover and whatnot, so you can reach down here. And just unscrew the back piece. And it comes clear out. And you just lift up on the cover, it comes off. And of course there's your uh, air filter and stuff. You can see it's not really, you know, it's a clone of a, I'm guessing, Shindaiwa. They call it a 62ZC saw. And you can take the air filter off here with this spring here, or this screwing nut here with wing nut comes off just fine and you see it's just a uh, nothing special it's just a real small little after market type carburetor this is supposed to be the cover it seems to be stuck in place uh, you got a good uh, spark plug boot here the spark plug was in there so freaking tight it's a torch 1.7 and I'm going to replace it with a Neotech when I get the correct and proper Neotech on there. Or NGK plug. Here you can see the they have a nice O-ring around there, around the air filter. So I can't say if it's good, bad, or indifferent for how, if it seals up good or not. But it goes in there and it looks, it fits in there really nice. And screws on here real good. You know, so it's not like it's uh, anything special. You know, the choke isn't built into it. The choke is over on the side, just like it is on most good quality saws. You know, like the little Husky types or the Shindaiwa, if you've seen them. You know, you pull them out, push them in, and you got your up is on, run, and just down for off for, this, for the power switch. Got your... Uh, operator presence valve here and the throttle lever works real good and your, of course your cover goes in right up here on the top those snaps into place and you can see it there is a place right there on the deal to screw in for the for your air filter cover so you could possibly swap out and put it in a different type of air filter system. I saw a guy use the pleated on his and I thought, well, that sounds like a really good plan. Maybe I'll check into that after I make sure the saw runs and operates real good because it fit underneath that cover. Hey, more power to it. You do have the automatic oiler and here on the bottom you can see that there are marks tells you that that's where the adjustment is but really it's not there where it really is is down inside right down here you can see it all turned over here where you can see in the light and you can see there is the oiler adjustment right there and this is plastic the tank and stuff and handle like on all of them is plastic these pieces here are plastic but the reason I got it 
it was cheap, and also it has a metallic. When I wrote, asked them, the guys told me it was a magnesium case. So that was a good selling point. And it doesn't have, it has, you know, the clutch cover, the adjuster is built into the, or is part of the clutch cover, just like on Huskies and other Shindaiwa saws. And it works quite well. It's metal and it goes in there and it, it adjusts it up just fine. And this has a uh, sprocket drive, a removable sprocket, so you can take the, put on another sprocket. Right now it's the 325 sprocket. And as you can see here on the, on the side here, it's a 325 by, it's, a, it's on a 20 inch bar. You know, the chain is 5 eighths. And has a sprocket nose. This is the bar and that it comes with. And here is your uh, chain catcher here. If your chain kicks off, you can kick in here, and then you know you have a plastic block that you can take this screw out and replace this guy here. But it's nice, heavy plastic. The chip guard thing is just you know it's replaceable, but it's you know it, it works for for what it is. I think I paid like a big 110 bucks for this saw delivered. You know it was on a Christmas special work. It was real good, but it come with all this cool stuff and You got that cool uh, Tool case and you got the manual and the manual was Handy for whatever in a mixing pot. You know what's there. I do like the handle of this. I like to fill the saw It's just right at 14 pounds, you know with the 20 inch bar that it comes with and so it works pretty well. You know, your fuel caps and stuff are fine. You, you, they screw off. You have a rubber gasket material here. They are captive so you don't lose them. It is marked. So, you know, it says right there, fuel. And over here on the oil, the tank is in the same, in the uh, front were placed like you would on most of them. And it is... I thought it was marked, but apparently it's not marked. But I think you probably could figure out that, that is a, a fuel, or that is an oil tank on the front and a fuel tank here on the back. And as I said before, your it doesn't your o operator presence valve works, and the throttle is nice and smooth on these things. You know your adjustments are on this side over here. And the top piece in this little rubber goodie goes into where your idle is. And here's your high and low right here. And they are marked. Low in the front, which towards the uh, cylinder. And high H, high in the back, towards the back of the saw, away from the cylinder. And it says on here 25 to 1, but I, you know, whatever that is, I don't know. I'm going to probably do like my other saw, start them off on 35 to 1 or so and not worry about it. And see how on the break-in period and whatnot. And then maybe go to running 37 to 1 or whatever and call her good. But this is the saw. I will start it up later on when it gets warm. I've been waiting for a little warmer weather to run them. And as you can see, it's the Neotech NCS 6200. This is Les LJ from Belly Acres. Thanking you very much. It's a fine, or, or we got a fine saw here, I think. And it has lots of compression. Holy cow, yeah, lots of compression. There is no decomp lever or anything, no decomp button or anything to deal with. It's only a 62cc saw, and it's nice and lightweight and handles quite well. Uh, but I haven't started up and played with it yet. And of course, here on the side here, they got it embossed right on the clutch cover. The direction, what your chain should be. <laughs> and of course, I believe on the inside before I had the clutch cover off, you know, hey... They have the same emblem on there too, so you can't really screw up and put your chain on backwards. Well, as long as you follow the pictures. And if you follow directions, you know the chain only goes on, it's supposed to go on one way. If you've been operating, running chainsaw for a while, you know it 
runs in one direction and cuts in the same direction. And it has a sprocket nose. That's pretty cool. It's not replaceable, but hey, who cares? You know, more than likely later on down the road, several years from now, I might. No more often I'm going to use it. I can replace it with another bar. Maybe a different sprocket. I don't know. But the 325, everybody seems to really like that 325 just fine. And works out real well. Here I got lots of glare on there. But, you know, hopefully you can see that this is What, what what it says here on the bar of what the chain size is. But this is LJ from Belly Acres thanking you for taking a look. So I'll give this thing a, a start when the weather warms up just a little bit more and we'll go out there and see how well it runs. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.